hi students so now let us discuss one of the important topic that is find the equation in terms of root find the equation in terms of the root of the other equation that means there is one equation and there will be two roots of that quadratic equation so using that quadratic equation roots you have to find the other equation clear if we solve the example it will be very easy so i will discuss those things very carefully and you also has to be cautious regarding those points because they are very important okay see here if if alpha and beta are the roots of are the roots of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 that means alpha and beta are the roots of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 now alpha plus k beta plus k these are the two roots of the other equation that means alpha and beta are the roots of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 if there are two other roots where constant is added to alpha as well as the same constant is added to beta then what will be the equation which is going to be formed from these two roots are you getting my point so from these two roots you have to find the other one in such type of cases what you have to do you change you change x to x minus k are you getting my point this will be given the roots of this equation will be given and now using alpha plus k and beta plus k you have to find the other equation that means for these two roots the constant is added that means the same constant is added for alpha as well as beta in that cases what will be your new algebraic equation in that case what you have to do in the same equation you have to change your x to x minus k so now what it will be a into x minus k whole square plus b into x minus k plus c equal to 0 so this will be your new equation so you have to remember remember this type of techniques to solve in exam this will be not in your ncrt textbooks clear so this type of things has to be remembered clear alpha and beta are the roots of ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero now you want to find the equation of having the roots alpha plus k and beta plus k in that case what you have to do change x to x minus k so that is what you have to do if you change x to x minus k it will be a into x minus k whole square plus b into x minus k plus c equal to 0 this is what your first result clear students now let us go for second one that is see some changes i will do here same if alpha and beta are the roots of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 this is same now what we are doing here i am subtracting the same constant i am subtracting the same constant that means now x has to be changed with which element that is very important change x to x plus k please remember it change x to x plus k that means x plus k whole square x plus k are you getting my point that means if alpha and beta are the roots of 
ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 having the roots alpha minus k and beta minus k now change x to x plus k this is very very important technique are you getting my point so it will be a into x plus k whole square plus b into x plus k plus c equal to 0 these are the two things which you have to remember now let us go for the third one same if alpha and beta are the two roots if alpha and beta are the two roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 then alpha into k beta into k that means if alpha and beta are the roots of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 now alpha into k plus beta into k are the two new roots which you are getting now you have to find the algebraic equation in this term what you have to do multiply multiply by k to the power of 0 k to the power of 1 k to the power of 2 with a b c that means this is the equation you have to multiply these terms that is k to the power of 0 into a x square plus k to the power of 1 into b x plus k to the power of 2 into c equal to 0 this will be your new algebraic equation that is k to the power of 0 is 1 a x square plus k b x plus k square c will be equal to 0 so this is your third one are you getting my point you just go on what observations you have to do first thing alpha plus k plus and beta plus k are the two roots means you have to change your x to x minus k suppose alpha minus k and beta minus k are the two roots means you have to change x to x plus k are you getting my point the third one if alpha into k and beta into k are the two new roots means what you have to do you have to multiply k to the power of 0 k to the power of 1 and k to the power of 2 for a b c that will be your new algebraic equation are you getting my point next fourth one fourth one that is if alpha and beta are the two roots that is alpha by k and beta by k are the two new roots then see here you have to multiply with k square k1 and k0 with abc that means it will be k square a into x square plus k b into x plus c equal to 0 because k0 will be 1 hence it will be k square a x square plus k b x plus c equal to 0 will be your new quadratic equation i think i have discussed four important terms there are again other terms which i am going to discuss uh, after this but no problem now i have discussed four things alpha minus k beta minus k alpha plus k beta plus k alpha into k beta into k fourth one was alpha by k and beta by k that means in such type of situations what you have to do that is very very important terms clear so please make sure that these things are perfect to you now let us go for the fifth one okay students the fifth one is if alpha and beta are the roots of ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero here the two new roots are minus alpha and minus beta are you getting my point the two new roots are minus alpha and minus beta 
in this type of thing change x2 minus x change x2 minus x that means here minus x whole square will be again same ax square but here this term will be minus bx plus c equal to 0 I think you got my point that means alpha and beta are the two roots of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 now minus alpha and minus beta are the two new roots change x to minus x it will be what ax square minus bx plus c equal to 0 because if I change x to minus x means minus x whole square will be again the same plus x square here minus x will be minus bx there is no x term so that's why it will be plus c equal to 0 so this is what you have to observe here clear students so this is what your fifth one if alpha and beta are the two roots the two new roots are minus alpha and minus beta here you have to change x to minus x and you have to write your terms now let us go for sixth one that is if alpha and beta are the two roots of ax square plus bx plus c suppose minus 1 by alpha and minus 1 by beta are the two new roots here you have to change x to minus 1 by x you have to change x to minus 1 by x so what you are going to get the new terms that will be if you are if you change x to minus 1 by x in the place of x square you have to write minus 1 by x in the place of x minus 1 by x so it will be c x square minus b x plus a equal to 0 so please remember these things very important minus alpha minus beta you have to change x to minus 1 by x uh, uh, sorry minus alpha and minus beta you have to change x to minus x suppose minus 1 by alpha minus 1 by beta you have you have to change x to minus 1 by x now the terms will be cx square minus bx plus a equal to 0 so this is what you have to observe so students make a note that notice suppose minus 1 by alpha minus 1 by beta are the two roots what you have to do you have to change both the terms a and c that is exchange the terms exchange the terms a and c also write also write minus sign with b minus sign with b suppose if these things are not going to be remembered to you what you have to do minus 1 by alpha minus 1 by beta are the two roots means you have to exchange a and c and you have to multiply this b with minus sign that means cx square minus bx plus a will be equal to 0 that will be your new equation for your fifth sorry sixth point clear that means whenever alpha beta are the two roots of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 the two new roots are given by minus 1 by alpha and minus 1 by beta in that particular situations if you are solving it by changing the terms change x to minus 1 by x and you have to simplify so you are going to get cx square minus bx plus a equal to 0 here our observation is that whenever these terms are given you have to exchange a and c and you have to multiply b with minus sign so that will be very easy to remember are you getting my point so please remember that if alpha and beta are the two roots no problem minus alpha and minus beta are the two roots you have to change x to minus x clear if you change x to minus x you are going to get the particular thing 
Suppose minus 1 by alpha and minus 1 by beta are the roots. Change x to minus 1 by x and simplify. Otherwise, you have to remember, you have to exchange a and c and you have to multiply b with minus sign. That is very, very important. Okay, students. Now, suppose this is done. Then what are your things? See here, plus 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta means here also it will be plus. Here also it will be plus. Then this thing is going to be plus. Here minus sign is going to be plus sign. Are you getting my point? Here also thing is not needed. Exchange A and C terms. Are you getting my point? If alpha and beta are the two roots of ax square plus bx plus c of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 1 by alpha and 1 by beta are the two roots which are given now you have to find the new algebraic equation in that particular thing you have to exchange a and c that will be your new algebraic equation this will be a type of where you say it has shortcuts so no problem you have to exchange a and c that time you are going to have the new equation cx square plus bx plus a equal to 0 will be your new algebraic equation. So this is your seventh point. Are you getting my points? So no problem. So please remember this type of things. Clear students? Here you observe that alpha and beta are the two roots. 1 by alpha and 1 by beta are the reciprocals of alpha and beta. That is what your observation alpha and beta are the roots 1 by alpha and 1 by beta are the reciprocal of your given roots then whenever the reciprocals are given you have to exchange a and c here you write whenever the reciprocals of the roots are given we have to exchange a and c whenever the negative of the reciprocals are given then you have to take minus sign with b that will be very simple. This type of observations in particular things are very very important. I will be solving some of the problems which are asked in your previous exams so that you are going to be more perfect if I solve those type of problems. So my dear students, please remember that reciprocals, negative of reciprocals. What will be the thing? You have to exchange A and C. If the negative term is present, you have to multiply B with minus sign. Clear students? Okay. Now let us go for 8th one. Now let us look at the 8th point. The 8th point is same alpha and beta are the two roots of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Here k by alpha and k by beta are given. Previously reciprocals of the uh, roots were given. But here reciprocals of the roots with multiplied multiplication of k is given are you getting my point reciprocals of the roots multiplied with k and multiplied with k is given for alpha and beta so in that particular cases what you have to multiply what you have to change x to k by x you have to change that means in the place of x you have to change k by x are you getting my point if you change this k by x definitely it is going to be cx square plus kbx plus k square a equal to 0 if you want to solve it you solve it no problem you just put in the place of x as k by x and you simplify you are going to have this particular result that is cx square plus kbx plus k square a equal to 0 you are going to have clear students so for that reason Whenever k by alpha and k by beta is given, for that cases you have to change x to k by x. You have to change x to k by x and you are going to have the terms cx square plus kbx plus k square a equal to 0 will be your new algebraic terms. So see my dear students, the first one was alpha minus k beta minus k what you have to change x to x plus k suppose alpha plus k beta plus k is given you have to change x to x minus k next third one alpha into k and beta into k is given that means 
you have to multiply with k to the power of 0 and k to the power of 1 and k to the power of 2 for a, b, c. Suppose fourth one alpha by k and beta by k is given then you have to multiply the terms with k square k raised to 1 and k to the power of 0 for your a, b and c. Next, fifth one, al minus alpha minus beta are given. That means you have to change x to minus x. Clear? Suppose sixth one, minus 1 by alpha minus 1 by beta is given. Then your terms will be, you have to changing x to minus 1 by x. x to minus 1 by x. And the seventh one, 1 by alpha comma 1 by beta is given. You have to change x to plus 1 by x. x to plus 1 by x. And the eighth one, if k by alpha comma k by beta are given, that means you must change x to k by x. You have to simplify. Are you getting my point? So this reciprocal things, remember exchanging A and C. Here negative with reciprocal things, exchanging A and C, multiplying with minus B. Clear? So other things K by alpha means the same term you have to change X to K by X and you, you may simplify. So you are going to get the answers. Here you are not going to have that much of tough. You just change X to X plus K. Here you change, you just change x to x minus k and you can simplify alpha alpha into k beta into k you just change uh, x to sorry multiply k to the power of 0 k to the power of 1 k to the power of 2 here alpha by k beta by k the reverse case k to the power of 2 k to the power of 1 k to the power of 0 in this you have to change x to minus x in this exchange a and c and multiply b with minus sign in the seventh one exchange a and c that's enough and in the eighth one c here cx square plus kbx plus k square a will be equal to zero so this all eight terms you have to remember to solve the particular questions very quickly so these things are very very important okay students now let us see that how to solve the problems on the points which we have discussed previously. Previously we have discussed 8 points. So on that particular 8 points, which type of questions are going to be asked in particular exams? Clear students? So let us see here. If alpha and beta are the two roots of 9x square plus 6x plus 1 equal to 0, then the equation with the roots 1 by alpha and 1 by beta. That means if alpha and beta are the two roots of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, then the equation of the roots which are reciprocal of this. As I said, please remember whenever the reciprocal thing is given, how to simplify the terms of ax square plus bx plus c what we have to do whenever the reciprocal terms are given just you have to change 9 with 1 and 1 with 9 that will be your answer are you getting my point what you have to do you have to just change 9 with 1 and 1 with 9 that is what we have done in 8 points where we have discussed so now what will be your answer it will be x square plus 6x plus 9 equal to 0. See how you are going to solve it very quickly. Don't worry. I, have, I will solve it with your regular method also. No problem. I will solve it with regular method also. There you are, you are going to have more time uh, for solving. But here you are not having more time for solving. That means you are saving time here. Clear students? If you change both both c and a term you are going to have x square plus 6x plus 9 so this is your answer option c see here because alpha and beta are the two roots of this particular algebraic equation then the equation with the roots 1 by alpha 
comma 1 by beta that means the reciprocal of 1 by alpha and 1 by beta is what is your answer they are asking so whenever the reciprocal things are given we have to change a and c so this will be your answer so it is going to be very quick that means x square plus 6x plus 9 will be equal to 0 so option c is your answer now let us try to solve it with regular method clear so in regular method what you are going to do you know how to write algebraic equation that is x square minus of alpha plus beta plus product that means alpha into beta equal to 0 so this is what your regular method that means x square minus sum of the product, sum of the roots plus product of the roots will be going to be equal to 0 that you are going to do clear students so now what are your two new roots 1 by alpha and 1 by beta let us do sum of this that means 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta is going to be equal to alpha plus beta divided by alpha into beta have you got my point that means alpha plus beta divided by alpha into beta so alpha and beta are the roots of what 9x square plus 6x plus 1 equal to 0 so alpha plus beta will be equal to sum of the two roots is nothing but minus b by a that is minus 6 by 9 minus 6 by 9 that is going to be equal to minus 3 by sorry minus 2 by 3 so your term is going to be equal to minus 2 by 3 for alpha plus beta what about alpha into beta c by a what is your c term c term is 1 and a term is 9 so alpha into beta is going to be equal to 1 by 9 so use that alpha plus beta is alpha plus beta is minus 2 by 3 alpha into beta is 1 by 9 so this term is going to be equal to uh, minus 6 this term will be equal to minus 6 if you simplify this term is going to be equal to minus 6 that means sum of two roots is minus 6 sum of two roots is minus 6 what about product of two roots product of two roots is 1 by 9 product of two roots is 1 by 9 that means now what you are going to have therefore see this x square minus of alpha plus beta plus alpha into beta equal to 0 so what you are going to have in the terms of alpha into beta that means 1 by alpha into 1 by beta is 1 by 9 uh, what you are going to have alpha into beta equal to 1 by 9 alpha plus beta is minus 6 so what will be your answer x square minus of minus 6 will be plus 6 uh, x plus 6 x next product of two roots will be what product of two roots will be 9 plus 9 will be equal to 0 clear students so from this you can see that alpha into beta will be 9 x square plus 6x plus 9 will be going to be equal to 0 so that is what your answer clear because here alpha into beta equal to what 1 by alpha into 1 by beta equal to what 1 by 9 so for that reason you are going to have an answer alpha into beta as 9 therefore x square plus 6x plus 0 will be your answer ok students here you will get one doubt sir alpha into beta equal to 1 by 9 that means here you have to write 1 by 9 why you are writing 9 are you getting my point so that type of doubt you may get here but please see students alpha and beta are the two roots of 9x square plus 6x plus 1 equal to 0 they are not the roots of your new equation what are the roots of new equation 1 by alpha and 1 by beta here you are writing new equation that means here you must write the product of these two that means the product of 1 by alpha into 1 by beta you have to write are you getting my point 
here you have written the product of this equation if you take reciprocal of this what you are going to have 1 by alpha into 1 by beta will be equal to 9 this is the product of new algebraic equation that is x square plus 6x plus 9 equal to 0 uh, same on the same term alpha plus beta are the two roots of this particular equation see here we have done the sum of two roots of new equation on that term we got minus 6 that's why we have written here uh, that's why we have written here minus 6 are you getting my point minus into minus it will be plus otherwise you can take it as alpha dash and beta dash no problem are you getting my point so now alpha plus beta is minus 6 minus into minus it will be plus here product of your new algebraic equation that means 1 by alpha into 1 by beta will be equal to 9 because these two are the new roots are you getting my point so for that reason please make a note that 1 by alpha into 1 by beta will be equal to 9 because alpha into beta are equal to 1 by 9 so i think your doubt is clarified here of alpha into beta is 1 by 9 therefore the product of two new roots will be 9 that will be written here x square plus 6x plus 9 equal to 0 see this all things you have to simplify if you don't remember that eight things i have discussed clear i said whenever you have reciprocals you have to just change a and c term if you change a and c term then after changing a and c term you are going to have the new equation whenever the reciprocal of the two roots are given so that is what your new equation so here you are going to get x square plus 6x plus 9 equal to 0 okay students now let us go for our second problem let us see what is your second problem the second problem is the equation of whose roots are reciprocal of the roots of the equation 3x square minus 20x plus 17 equal to 0 now i think just by looking at this equation you can get the answer clear yeah? because it is again the same concept that is whenever the equation of roots are reciprocal of the roots of this particular equation that means this is one equation it has some roots and they are asking the equation of the reciprocal of the roots of this particular equation that means you have to just change a and C. So, what will be your answer? If I change A and C, it will be 17x square minus 20x plus 3 equal to 0. So, that is option A. Are you getting my point? So, this type of things will be very simple if you solve it by remembering, remembering those particular topics. Clear students? So, now let us solve it by our regular method that is by using the equation x square minus alpha plus beta plus alpha into beta equal to 0 where alpha and beta are the roots of 3x square minus 20x plus 17 equal to 0 so now if you factorize this what you are going to have if i factorize this particular term that is 3x square minus 20x plus 17 equal to 0 if i factorize this you are going to have x minus 1 into 3x minus 17 equal to 0 you factorize these terms you are going to have x minus 1 into 3x minus 17 equal to 0 so now you are getting x equal to 1 and x equal to 17 by 3 are you getting my point so these are the roots of this particular algebraic equation but what they have said the new equation is having reciprocal of these terms that means x will be 1 for new algebraic equation x will be 3 by 17 for your new algebraic equation so now you solve this that is x square alpha plus beta means 1 plus 3 by 17 x plus alpha into beta means 
Multiply these two, you are going to have 3 by 17 equal to 0. So you add these two terms, you are going to have 20. Therefore, 17x square minus 20x plus 3 equal to 0. So this will be your particular algebraic equation. See, again you, have, you got the same term. 17x square minus 20x plus 3 equal to 0. That means what we have discussed in the 8 points, those things are very very important. Whenever the reciprocals are given, you just change A and C. Therefore, that will be your particular answer. Clear students? So, make a note of this. You can solve it by regular method. While solving regular method, you must know this formula. Clear? That is x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta equal to 0 because that is your standard thing of factorization of algebraic equation or you remember those 8 things what you have to do which I have discussed previously. So if you remember that this will be very simple without solving those all things you may get answer very quickly clear students. Okay. Okay students, now let us see the third one, clear? So in the third one, if alpha and beta are the roots of x square minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0, then the equation whose roots are these two terms, clear? Okay, so this particular, uh, so this particular problem will not come under our 8 points. So no problem. Let us solve it. Clear? Here the alpha and beta are the roots of this particular equation. That means first let us identify what is alpha plus beta. If that is nothing but minus b by a. So it will be 3 by 1. So that is 3. Clear students? Next alpha into beta c by a that will be equal to 1. So this is what the relation of your roots and coefficients of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. So now let us move over our new equation. What is our new equation? These are the two roots. So now we have to find our new equation. So let us find what is 1 by alpha minus 2 plus 1 by beta minus 2 equal to that means the sum of two roots of your new equation. So, if I simplify by taking LCM, it will be beta minus 2 plus alpha minus 2. So, divided by, multiply this 2, alpha into beta, alpha minus 2 alpha, so minus 2 beta plus 4. So, if I simplify this, you are going to have this term. So, alpha plus beta, alpha plus beta minus 4 divided by alpha into beta this will be minus 2 common alpha plus beta plus 4 clear students so now this is equal to alpha plus beta is how much 3 minus 4 divided by alpha into beta is how much 1 minus 2 into 3 that will be minus 6 plus 4 so that is 3 minus 4 is minus 1 minus 5 plus 4 is again minus 1 therefore if I cancel you are going to have 1 that means the sum of two roots will be 1 I have got my point now what is product of two roots let us identify Product of two roots is nothing but 1 by alpha minus 2 into 1 by beta minus 2. See, already you have simplified here. Clear? So that means what you are going to have? 1 by particular 1 minus 6 plus 4 that is minus 1. So product will be minus 1. Clear students? So sum of two roots is 1. Product of two roots will be minus 1. Clear? Because already you have multiplied alpha, my, alpha minus 2 into beta minus 2 here, 
you use the same term there 1 by alpha minus 2 into 1 by beta minus 2 so now you are going to have the product of two roots as minus 1 the sum of two roots as plus 1 already you know the standard form that is uh, x square minus sum of two roots plus product of two roots equal to 0 so x square minus into minus plus 1 that is plus x product is 1 therefore it will be plus 1 equal to 0 because here the sum was 1 that means this is minus 1 so this will be minus 1 and product is minus 1 so therefore product will be minus 1 equal to 0 see sum of these roots is plus 1 so if I write 1 in the place of sum 1 into minus minus x if I write product see there minus 1 so if I get product p value minus 1 you are going to have x square minus x minus 1 equal to 0 therefore option c is your answer therefore x square minus x minus 1 equal to 0 will be your answer for this particular question therefore x square minus x minus 1 equal to 0 is your answer i think you got what i have explained here clear okay students okay students now let us solve the fourth problem that is x square minus 2x cos alpha plus 1 equal to 0 here the equation whose roots are alpha to the power of n comma beta to the power of n clear the original roots of this equation is alpha comma beta and the new roots are alpha to the power of n beta to the power of n now you have to find your new algebraic equation clear students so this is totally different problem because of cos phi so for that reason let us solve in detail so that you are going to have the better understanding clear students so for that reason i will solve first x equal to that means i will take the root of this particular algebraic equation with the formula minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so minus b means what this is minus 2 so it will be 2 cos phi plus or minus square root of b square that is 4 cos square phi minus 4ac it will be 4 divided by 2 so now you have to simplify this so see here this is 4 cos square phi minus 4 if you if you use trigonometrical formula of sin square phi plus cos square phi equal to 1 here you are going to have minus 4 sin square phi are you getting my point that is square root of minus 4 sin square phi that means you are having complex roots for this particular equation because discriminant is lesser than 0 if the discriminant is lesser than 0 you know that you are going to have the complex roots for that particular algebraic equation so for that reason let us solve it by solving square root of 4 square root of b square minus 4 ac so i will write it as x equal to 2 cos phi here plus or minus you are going to have 2i sin phi if i simplify you are going to have this particular term so if you get this term you can cancel the common term 2 on both sides you are going to have x equal to cos phi plus or minus i sin phi this can be written as e to the power of plus or minus i phi so for that reason see here cos phi if i cancel the common term 2 cos phi plus or minus i sin phi equal to e to the power of plus or minus i phi that is by your euler method euler method of representation of complex number clear by using Euler method of comp Euler, Euler method of representation of complex number, it will be e to the power of plus or minus i phi. This is very very interesting now. 
clear so here alpha will be e to the power of i phi and beta will be e to the power of minus i phi that means that are the two roots clear of your x square minus 2x cos phi plus 1 equal to 0 now what are the two new roots alpha to the power of n comma beta to the power of n are the two new roots so if i use that two new roots what you are going to have alpha to the power of n means e to the power of i n phi beta to the power of n means e to the power of minus i n phi like this you are going to have two new roots alpha to the power of n and beta to the power of n by using these two new roots now you can solve your original function sorry your the new function by using x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta equal to 0 so x square minus of alpha plus beta so see here what is your alpha so now alpha is your alpha to the power of n for your new root alpha to the power of n beta to the power of n alpha to the power of n into beta to the power of n because of you are finding the equation of these two roots clear so here you are going to have e to the power of i, I n phi that is nothing but cos n phi plus i sin n phi here the same thing with minus sign clear that is cos n phi plus uh, sorry minus i sin n phi like this you are going to have for beta and for alpha to the power of n this term clear so now if i add these two what you are going to have cos n phi plus cos n phi will be 2 cos n phi into x plus now multiplying these two terms alpha to the power of n into beta to the power of n if i multiply these two terms see here e to the power of i n phi multiplied with e to the power of minus i n phi if by using the laws of indices if i multiply these two you have to sum the powers if i sum the powers it will be 0 e to the power of 0 that is nothing but plus 1 and it will be going to equal to 0 so very important i have very important means that's a very special problem in all problems which we have solved previously clear the reciprocals that was very simple after that again we have solved reciprocal that was also very simple after that some problems they were also very simple but now by coming to this type of problems they are very interesting see they have asked in je exam that means there will be standard problems not any some blah blah problems in exams of iit and je there will be a standard problems so that to solve that type of standard problems you must be of that kind so no problem if you practice this type of things it will be give you a good type of results clear students so if you want to see this alpha and beta are the two roots of these things find alpha and beta alpha and beta are e to the power of i phi beta alpha is e to the power of i phi beta is e to the power of minus i phi so using that you find these two terms again you also know x square minus alpha to the power of n plus beta to the power of n plus alpha to the power of n into beta to the power of n equal to 0 is your algebraic equation so if you simplify that you are going to have x square minus 2 cos n phi x plus 1 equal to 0 so that is what your answer clear students so option b option b is your answer x square minus 2x cos n phi plus 1 equal to 0 okay students so now let us go for our fifth problem so here our fifth problem is alpha plus beta equal to alpha plus beta equal to that is minus 2 alpha plus beta equal to minus 2 and alpha q plus beta cube is minus 56 then the quadratic roots alpha and beta are they are asking okay 
alpha plus beta is minus 2 and alpha cube plus beta cube equal to minus 56 then the quadratic roots alpha and beta are what then what is the equation see here they have not given alpha and beta they have given the equation that means you have to find alpha and beta then you have to find the equation see sometimes they are going to make you confused because what are the quadratic roots alpha and beta they have asked but here in options they have mentioned the equation so no problem let us find alpha and beta after that using that alpha and beta let us try the equation and what will be the answer clear okay so for that reason we know that alpha plus beta equal to minus 2 alpha cube plus beta cube equal to minus 56 so if i simplify this alpha plus beta into alpha square plus beta square minus alpha into beta equal to 56 clear students so now alpha plus beta is minus 2 if i take alpha plus beta on this side it will be alpha square plus beta square minus alpha into beta equal to minus 28 it will be equal to minus 56 so and it will be equal to plus 28 no problem it will be equal to plus 28 because this is minus 2 and this is minus 56 alpha beta is minus 2 if i take down it will be plus 28 so now you got alpha square plus beta square minus alpha into beta equal to plus 28 now we shall bring the relation between these two because by squaring on both sides alpha plus beta whole square equal to you are going to get 4 squaring on both side so that is alpha square plus beta square plus 2 alpha beta plus 2 alpha beta equal to 4 clear students so alpha square plus beta square plus 2 alpha into beta equal to 4 see here alpha square plus beta square minus alpha into beta is plus 28 so that means this can be written as alpha square plus beta square minus alpha into beta plus 3 alpha into beta equal to 4. So 2 alpha into beta can be written as like this minus alpha into beta plus 3 alpha into beta equal to 4. So alpha square plus beta square minus alpha into beta plus 3 alpha into beta equal to 4. Now this term can be replaced as 28 that means 3 alpha into beta if I take 28 on that side it will be minus 24 so alpha into beta will be equal to minus 8 see alpha into beta is minus 8 alpha plus beta is minus 2 so now by using all these terms you can find the equation so that is sum of the two roots is minus 2 alpha and beta are the two root alpha and beta are the roots of minus 8 therefore x square minus sum of two roots plus product of two roots equal to 0 x square sum is minus 2 that will be plus 2x product is minus 8 equal to 0 so that will be x square plus 2x minus 8 equal to 0 so that is x square plus 2x minus 8 equal to 0 will be your answer so for that reason see students alpha plus beta relation is given alpha cube plus beta cube relation is given then the quadratic roots of alpha and beta that means alpha and beta are the roots of quadratic equation so now they are asking what is quadratic equation if i simplify all these terms first you take these two you simplify this a cube plus b cube formula alpha plus beta alpha square plus beta square minus alpha into beta equal to minus 56 so further this is minus 2 if i take on that side it will be plus 28 so next alpha square plus beta square minus alpha into beta equal to 28 if i write this as okay no problem it will be plus 28 so now you make squaring on both sides you are going to have this term you replace this minus alpha into beta plus alpha plus 3 alpha into beta equal to 4 so alpha into beta will be minus 8 you know that alpha plus beta is minus 2 
you use your standard form x square minus sx plus p equal to 0 therefore sum is minus 2 therefore your equation will be x square plus 2x minus 8 equal to 0 so this is what your answer that is option d okay students now let us move for the sixth problem that is if the equation x square plus px plus q equal to 0 and x square plus qx plus p equal to 0 are the two equations having common root that means both the equations are having common root this is also very very important topic i will discuss in detail in further classes but now accidentally i have got one problem on the common roots here so no problem i will solve this and in detail what will be the shortcuts for those particular things i will discuss in detail or let us discuss that particular thing in detail because of common root is also one of the important topic for your exams but no problem in this particular problem what they are asking let us simplify clear so alpha is the common root for both the equations hence what is p plus q plus 1 equal to they are asking okay no problem so now alpha is common root for both the things means it will be alpha square plus p alpha plus q equal to 0 and that will be alpha square plus q alpha plus p equal to 0 so they are asking the relation in between these two terms clear they are asking what is the relation in between these two in the form of p plus q plus 1 equal to 0 so for that reason what shall i do take this as equation 1 take this as equation 2 and let us subtract that means let us bring one relation in between both of the two terms and let us see if i subtract these two alpha square alpha square will be get cancelled alpha alpha is common p minus q you are having next you are having plus q minus p equal to 0 have you got my point if i subtract that too this will be to cancel here alpha is common p minus q here q minus p you are going to have so now what we shall do alpha p minus q if I take this to that type, that side, it will be what? P minus Q. It will be having P minus Q. So now, what is alpha here? Alpha is equal to, if I cancel these two terms, alpha is going to be equal to 1. Alpha is going to be equal to 1. So now, if alpha is 1, if I write here, it will be P plus okay it will be 1 uh, plus p plus q equal to 0 clear students here if i write 1 plus q plus p equal to 0 no problem so it will be in the form of 1 plus p plus q equal to 0 and alpha will be equal to 1 so what they are asking here they are asking p plus q plus 1 is what so p plus q plus 1 is what here it is 0 this is also one of the good questions because they are asking the things indirectly they are asking to find the root that is common root for both the things clear but after solving the common root for the both the things what will be this particular two things they are asking the two things means the two equations after finding the common root what these two equations are going to be they are asking so that two equations are going to be p plus q plus 1 equal to 0 and that common root is going to be equal to 1 see how beautiful this is that is they are asking the root after getting the root what these two equations are going to be they are asking clear students okay so no problem that means if the alpha is 1 these two equations are going to be equal to p plus q plus 1 equal to 0 therefore your answer is a clear